what's going on? It's snowing in March. Eli's over there screaming. Plows are on the racks. It's snowing at the end of March. We're yeah. supposed to be starting. Let's say 14. We're supposed to be starting work Monday. It is what Saturday? Friday? Friday. It's Friday. Yep. Now I've, in the past, been really pissed off about snowstorms. I don't really mind this I'm one though. I'm not really that mad about it. I mean, if we get a little bit of time before work, you if, know, if, that's as cool. As long as it's nice. No, it's not gonna be nice. It's gonna be heavy, wet okay, shit. Still, I mean. So we're throwing on plows today. It's supposed to start tonight around like 12, 1 a.m. We'll see what happens. We gotta bring that skitty back out to its site. The other one we haven't even picked up yet, so that's good for us. But we'll see what it brings. This thing. Oh. <laughs> It's nice and chunky. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you didn't hit anything. It's kind of surprising. <laughs> hey, don't hit that red piece of shit. Oh, yeah. Somebody left it there. I don't know. I don't know. This has got a diesel. Just in time to do nothing. It's Mr. Oh, yeah. Alcoholic here, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, the video I sent you guys this morning of me painting the camera over, and Nick just goes, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that was a good time. Yeah. <laughs> that, was that was a good Cambridge event. You got up with the bull video. I have the bull video. video. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, guys. So we are just about 100% ready. I am over here at Chipotle. Got my pre storm meal. <laughs> I don't think it'll be anything crazy, but quick little rant though. New people at Chipotle who don't know how to make burritos, like, ugh, there's nothing worse. When they give you like the half a scoop of rice, the half a scoop of beans. I'm just saying, if I worked at Chipotle, I would load that up. Just make people happy, but what do I know? <laughs> I, I just eat here. I just plow the place, I don't know. Anyway, that's the end of my little rant. Um, I guess we'll pull you guys back out. I told the guys 3, 4 a.m. we'll probably head out. It's supposed to start around one. Right now they're saying 12 inches. I highly doubt that, but we'll see. So we'll catch you guys in the morning. I'm a little surprised, I'm not even gonna lie. We got a, like a decent amount of snow on the ground. It's about 4 a.m. right now. Lay it on me, one last quote of the day. This will be the last one of the year for you. All I gotta say is that this is totally <laughs> Okay, don't say the things I gotta blur out. Oh, what else you want me to say? It is, guys, spring started March 21st, right? It is currently March 23rd, and we're <laughs> getting pounded with at least like, what, seven inches of snow? This will probably be like the best storm we've had all year. We haven't and had snow in a month. And two now months. it does two months. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's been something crazy like that. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what to tell you either. <laughs> don't, st stay out of the road. Bye. I guess so. All right. We'll see you. There he is. 
Yeah. You tired? I woke up a little late. What? I woke up a little late, I'll be honest. <laughs> it's okay. 3.50. 3.50? I woke up at 4, dude. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. How's it going? Not too bad. You seem, like, sad. Are you just no, tired? I'm just tired. Just tired? This snow sucks. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> I'm kind of having fun with it. It's nice, fluffy. It's kind of like a good storm. I kind of like it. I'm not going to lie. Nick's a little cranky this morning, so I'm not going to bother him too much. I'm not going to mess with him. <laughs> but I'll mess with the other guys. I'm going to go screw with Mike a little bit because I know he'll get a kick out of that. Well, we found Mike. <laughs> We're at a set of townhomes here. Eli drove down here. He's doing the driveways. Mike's doing the roadways. You guys are watching our videos. Nothing you haven't seen before. So it's not really that exciting. no longer than five minutes ago and I get this text from Eli I don't know if the camera will pick that up but he slid into one of the houses broke a little piece of siding he said well had to go out with a bang <laughs> uh, I knew we couldn't get away this season without having one issue but figured this is the perfect time to talk about how I handle things like this because a lot of guys it is, don't get me wrong, it's very frustrating when your employees mess things up, but there's a fine line between a careless employee and then a good employee who just made a mistake. A lot of guys ask me how I keep my employees happy, and that's one of the things is not freaking out when little things happen. Shit's gonna happen. We're, we're in business, we have insurance for a reason. I mean, something like that, that'll be out of pocket. You know, yeah, I lost a few hundred dollars or whatever the siding guy is gonna cost to come and fix it, but it is what it is at the end of the day. Eli's a good kid. I'm not going to call him screaming at him. Who wants to go to work worrying about if they mess up, they're going to get yelled at? Nobody. Yeah, mistakes happen, but it is what it is. You got to move on. So, oh well. But for that being our first, uh, I guess, incident this winter, and it's, what's, what is it today? March 23rd? I'll take it. That's not too bad. I swear, this truck, my foot is literally to the floor right now. This thing just has no power. Foot to the floor, going 14 miles an hour, plowing powder. <laughs> like, what the heck? All right, so we're pulling into the Town Home Association where we've got the uh, track skid steer. I literally called <laughs> this kid Aiden, I love you. I knew you were. I knew you would be here, but I called him like three times. He didn't answer, and I was like, "Uh oh, somebody might be sleeping." So I drove all the way up here, and he called me literally as I was pulling in, and was like, "Oh, sorry, I didn't hear my phone." So <laughs> that's okay. I had to come up, and I wanted to get video of him anyway. Man, they got a lot of snow up here. There's probably. Oh, he's over there. <laughs> I see the lights. There's probably a good, a good six to eight inches. Good morning. Good morning. Any 
any quotes for the camera today? Not to put, oh, come on, you didn't get one last time. I know, I'm not a, not a camera person. Okay, all right. How's it going? A little frustrating, a lot, a lot of snow. I think this is definitely the most we've cleared. This, this is the most we've had. I was, gonna, I was plowing the YMCA, I had my foot to the floor in that truck. It was going like 10 miles an hour, pushing yeah. snow. I was like, man. Some people park in spots where I usually put snow, making it a little harder. Oh, nice. Some people remove the driveway markers, too. Oh, great. If I were like 10 years old and someone showed me a video of my skid steers and my trucks and things like that, <laughs> I would probably die. I remember being a kid staring outside every snowstorm being like, oh my god, one day I'm going to have a plow truck. I'm going to have a plow truck. I told myself that for years and years and years and here we are. So. Plow them in, plow them in, get them. <laughs> yeah, plow them in, S send it. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Let me get in with you. It's cold out here. Ugh. So how's it going? Not too bad, not too bad. Not too bad. Just stuff is heavy. Yeah. It's annoying. It's taking a long time. It is. How's your morning going? Oh, it's good. How's Logan doing? I haven't talked to him. It's good. He's uh, doing all the annoying roads, which I don't like to do. Oh, so that's good. That's good. That is good. I can't even throw the drone up in the air. Is this like rain stuff? Yeah. It's pretty wet. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what that's about, so... Uh, what? The and, uh, oh, maybe someone drove into the building. When we got this contract, the guy literally said, "Can you just like make sure the guys don't crash or try not to crash into the building?" And I was like, "Did you have problems with that with the last contractor?" And he was like, "Yeah, usually like probably two or three times a year they would crash into the building. We'd have to restucco it." I was like, "What kind of contractor did you have before? <laughs> what, yeah, were, what were they drinking?" The guy from Dollar General last year. Yeah, right. <laughs> the guy that we lost a contract to at the uh, 2001 Ram 3500 with the western plow that he pulled out of the woods. Yeah, he asked me for a shovel one time. I was like, I don't know, I can't help you. <laughs> Lowe's opens in like 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> that guy was something else. Making me walk all the way around. Good morning. morning. How's your morning going? Oh, it's going. Got any quotes for me? Not today. Nobody had one today. All right. That's all right. <laughs> Just came to get some footage of you. Stuff's heavy. I know. I bet this thing's struggling. Sometimes. <laughs> My truck was. I know the so plow. I know this is. I know the plow is. I'll push up. If I'm pushing up too much snow, it won't let me. Well, yeah, well, only angle. Yeah. yeah. Yep. But other than that. Well, you got the smaller plows, so you're able to get through easier. That old truck with almost, I say old truck, older truck. It's got almost 200,000 miles. Thing still starts up every day, still pushes snow, and the frame is clean for having 200,000 miles on it we're just starting to get rust on the rockers and inside the uh inside the doors so i don't really know what method he's going for here but
he is all fueled up. I did not put fuel in the skid steers before the storm because I was like, oh, it's not gonna snow. <laughs> well, it snowed. I just got up to the shop. We got a lot of snow here. They literally just had Eli order a triaxle stone and redo the whole parking lot. Now we gotta plow it. Here, let me find a good spot. Almost nine inches. Man. I really wasn't expecting that. Like that for once the weather people were like actually sort of right. It's insane. It's a lot of snow. Heavy, wet snow. This weather sucks. I can't. I don't want to put the camera on my plow because it's raining out and the camera lens is just going to get covered in water. I can't put the drone up in the air because it's raining out. So, not really great videoing conditions, but this video will probably just be more me talking than snowplow footage, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, work that shovel, Mike. This is the most work I've done in like four months probably <laughs> <laughs> stuff's wet down here yeah it's disgusting it's heavy it is disgusting it's icy Whew. no bueno no bien no bien all right that is a wrap for this morning i sent all the guys home it's about 11 30 right now so not awful it's a little later than I expected I'd be out, but it is full rain now. They're saying it's going to switch back over to snow. They're saying possibly up to another five inches. So I hope not, but I'll take five inches of snow over ice. <laughs> Absolutely. Any day. Got him good. Yikes. Quick transition here. <laughs> we have every bit of a foot of snow on the ground right now. This is by far... The most snow we've had all year. <laughs> I woke up from my nap, I looked outside, and I was like, oh, okay. The weathermen were right. So I was wrong. I was wrong. I think I said, oh, we're only gonna get three or four inches. No. It is it is snowy out. <sighs> so do you want to race? <laughs> Mike just called me. He is stuck at the shop. 550 is stuck right at the entrance. So up there, they got well over a foot. So, I mean, we're going to see... Jeez, freaking power's out everywhere, man. Traffic lights are out. All these out. Crazy. Um, but we're going to run up there, see what the deal is, and uh, see if we can get it pulled out. All right, we we're just about to the shop. Let's see how bad Mike's got this thing. See it flashing. Let's see if we can plow some of the snow away from the entrance here. Oh boy. Oh, he is in there. That's for sure. <laughs> this is ridiculous, dude. <laughs> Move the uh, excavator boom. I'm gonna push in front and in back. You Move the excavator, because I'm gonna push the snow from in front and the back. Yeah. Yeah, I know Mike was like <laughs> <laughs> Not even like that stuck. Nah, we, we got like all the way up there and then just front end. Did you try pulling it from the side? Did I try? No. Bring the excavator back over. I'll hook a chain right here and I'll just try and yank it that way. Oh, oh, the back this way? Yeah. Yeah, he tried that. Yeah, he tried that. Yeah, he tried that. Yeah, he tried that. You did? And yeah. Then, oh, oh, while, you were, while you were spinning the wheels? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I was spinning the wheels and I was spinning the tracks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but were you spinning the tracks or were you pulling it? Both. Did you put the blade down and pull it? Are you, are you sure? <laughs> All right. 
Oh, we're gonna try this. This will be fun. drive all the way up here for that. <laughs> You're fucking stupid, I swear. I swear. <laughs> we tried it, we tried it. <laughs> oh, what do you want? I didn't even have to pull, I didn't have to have the blade down, I just backed up. <laughs> just make sure you can actually like back up. <laughs> You're in my way. I know. Uh, 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 I'm moving. <laughs> oh, he's sliding. Back up. Turn the wheel. Turn the wheel. Here you go. All right, now turn it this way and come forward. Oh, <laughs> I wouldn't recommend doing this, but this plow is pretty old and gonna be retired soon, so. I'm gonna yank it. I don't really give a about this plow. Drive. Well, the GoPro died about two minutes before I got him out 100%, but we got him. He's gone. <laughs> I definitely put a dent in that plow, but like I said, that is our oldest plow. I think I paid like 2,500 bucks for that thing. It's it's shot, but <laughs> so that's going to be a backup next year. And I really don't care if there's a dent in it. If it were a new plow, it would have taken the time to hook up a chain and all that, but we have a lot of stuff to do and... I mean, there's no, we're not really under the gun right now, but I know these guys don't want to be working until 2, 3 a.m. tonight. So I said, screw it. Just <laughs> grab the thing and pull it. <laughs> there's probably gasoline in that. Aw, aw, come on. Give me a new snowblower. Do you have a quote for the camera? We haven't we haven't said hello yet today. Oh. Uh, quote of the day would be that was really bad. First of all, um, go to the casino and spend all your money. That's where I'd rather be right now. No, nah, you're plowing snow. You're plowing snow blowers instead. Ah, oh, no, it's a curb, sir. Ah. Oh. oh, not that tree. That's the one that's living here. <laughs> Should we just leave it there? Yeah, I did. <laughs> oh, good morning, Eli. <laughs> I'd say that's well over a foot on the roof. I'd say. I'd say. Did I tell you Mike smashed my windshield? Yeah. Mike just texted me. Tree branch fell while I was driving down the road. <laughs> Smash. I just put a new windshield on that truck last year because the same thing happened. <laughs> so. You know that truck, that poor truck, dude. Yeah. Oh, both, that both of them. Truck. Both of those 550s have been through hell. It's been rough. It's been a long night, but I think we're in the home stretch right now. I got to run up to town homes and on the 259 because people there are complaining about god knows what nancy even called me and she said this is ridiculous i'm so sick of these people the property manager what? yeah so it's not because he did a bad job it's just because the people up there just suck she said she had people calling before the storm even started <laughs> yeah 
He was like, these people are so entitled. All right. Eli's taking the equipment trailer, taking a skid steer to one of the other sites to move some snow piles. Because I know phone calls are going to start before we know it. And it's Sunday today, so at least everything isn't open. But uh, it was a long storm. Very long storm. A lot more snow than we expected. And I guess a good way to end the season with a bang. <laughs>